Has Been Hotel presents us with a wide variety of characters that bear incredibly interesting designs. However, while I was watching the pilot, there was one demon in particular that really piqued my interest. Hello, my name is Blue Raven 666 and today we will be looking at one of the Has Been Universe's most infamous overlords, Vox the TV Demon. In the pilot itself, Vox only makes a handful of cameos and doesn't have any speaking roles. But when your face is literally a flat screen TV, you tend to stick out a little bit. Since the pilot aired in October, Vivzy Pop has teamed up with Honeycast a number of times and sprinkled some crumbs about Vox that fans were pretty eager to eat up. Much like Alistair, Vox is an overlord and is rivals with the aforementioned radio demon. Vivzy Pop describes him as being very showman like in personality, very charismatic, and attention seeking. As Vaggy describes Alistair's backstory in the pilot, Vox is seen looming over a vast majority of the other overlords. We can only speculate at this moment that this symbolizes the amount of power he has, being much more dangerous and destructive than Valentino, Alistair, Velvet, or Rosie individually. The TV demon also holds an invested interest in modern technology, hence why his head is a flat-screen TV and not one of the more cube-shaped televisions of yesteryears. There is a fact that I feel needs to be emphasized, and that is that Vox is in fact a sinner, i.e. a former human. He supposedly died in 1953, or at least that was the date I was given. Even if the date is inaccurate, Vox is more than likely still a mortal soul that was sent to hell after death. Original demons, those born in hell, look like they're from hell. There's nothing reminiscent of the human world in their physical appearance. Helsa von Eldritch, for example, resembles her own parents. Charlie resembles her parents. Vox resembles... a TV! Alistair may have been the first to be a mortal soul that manifested in hell wielding incredible amounts of power, but I don't think he was the last. Who's to say Vox wasn't the one who cracked the power code and manifested in hell with just as much, if not more, power than Alistair? This is what we know of Vox for the most part. However, my curiosity doesn't lie with who he is, but rather what he is. Ponder these questions for just a moment. If Vox's face is a television screen, then how does he eat or drink? Something that the sinners in hell are shown to do. Even Alistair remarks, I'm starved, which might have been an over-exaggeration, but could imply that even in hell, people need to eat. My second question for you all is, is Vox electronical, composed of metal parts and wires, or is he partially, for lack of a better word, organic? with skin, muscle, and organs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my own personal segment of thoughts that keep me up at night. From where I'm standing, Vox can't be all electronic equipment and wires, or else he'd be pretty easy to defeat. I would have to side with the various comments I've seen on a couple of my videos, saying that pouring a cup of liquid on him would do the job. He'd short out, and boom, over. No more Vox. One wrong move, and his screen is cracked. His face could behave similar to how TVs do in the movie The Ring, where he has the ability to allow solid objects to phase through the screen, but then I don't think it'd be possible for his screen to crack if that were the case. Vox would literally have to fight his battles from afar if he were purely electronical, but I don't think that's a tactic he uses in his fighting strategy. It would make a little bit more sense if his body was one of flesh and bone. No risk of shorting out due to moisture or cracking his screen, and it could be that his face being a TV is more of an illusion than anything. It would make it much easier for Vox to upgrade himself, so to speak, in order to resemble the latest TV designs, similar to how, with a surge of power, other sinners are able to alter their appearance, similar to how Alistair can. A co-worker of mine offered a third possibility that kind of makes sense, 
and that is that he could be like Dr. Electric from The Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl, where he feeds off of electrodes. It could also be that Vox's screen can't break regardless if he's all metal and wires or if he has organs and tissue. It most likely would have been difficult for Vox to become an overlord if defeating him was as easy as pouring a cup of water on him or breaking his screen. We have to remember that Vox is stronger than this, if only slightly. A possibility that makes sense enough for me to believe is that Vox is more of a cyborg, so to speak. Some parts of his body are organic and have organs, and some are technological and have wires. Combined with the supernatural element, Vox could have made it so he couldn't be shorted just by a splash of water, or that he wouldn't be able to be put down by a broken screen, if that's even a thing. If, on the off chance Vox's powers involve hypnosis, he could simply command those around him to stay out of his way, but that also feels unlikely. I realize, in the grand scheme of things, I'm talking about a fictional character. It just so happens that this one doesn't make a lick of sense. Here we have Valentino, a moth demon. The feathers on his hat look like antennae. Makes perfect sense. Angel Dust, spider demon, has eight limbs, eight eyes, and is covered in fuzz. Makes perfect sense. Vox, TV demon. Absolute fucking enigma. Doesn't make sense. Of course, there is a question that may put this to rest. Vox, are you Apple, Samsung, or Nokia? In the end, I like Vox's character. It doesn't make sense, but maybe that's how he's supposed to be. Maybe more answers will be revealed about him in the series. But we may never know what Vox truly is. No wonder Alistair doesn't like you, Vox. You don't make sense to a Zoomer, let alone a Boomer. That's all I have for this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think of Vox, along with the other more obscure characters of has -Been Hotel. Quite frankly, my brain is fried to a crisp trying to figure out this man. Just so you guys know, if you want to send me fan art and have it featured on the channel, you can DM it to me through my Twitter. The link will be in the description. You guys are insanely talented, and I save all the art to look at and adore every single day. My name is Blue Raven 666 and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.